So I'm gonna look for a topic to talk about. Let's see here. Oh, y'all can pull up a topic. I hate comments. <laughs> Wait, Comment I have, a, I have, a, I actually have a topic that we could talk about, and it's kind of funny because it happened today in the morning. To yourself, oh, no. or is this a, a a worldwide thing where everyone will understand? It might be a worldwide thing due to the fact, uh, the way that per said person sounds. Okay. It's it's depending. Weird. Wait, well, hang on. Before no. we get into this, hi guys. My name is Bethesda Svenier. Welcome to the first podcast with Tirza and 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 everybody else. Say hi, guys. <laughs> and everybody else. Thank you, honest to God, Tears the only one. <laughs> <laughs> and well, Jorge. And Jorge. Well, I only see Tirza because like she's the only YouTuber that I collab with, really. I was a YouTuber once. Shut the fuck up. You never once <laughs> made it. <laughs> I was a YouTuber once back in middle school. Oh, <laughs> well, okay. So what's the topic? Go on, George. Oh, we're starting that already? Yeah, I just did the intro. I'm oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Very right? oh, like, oh, shit. Let me look at this script real quick. <laughs> No, but uh, long story short, I was talking to a friend of mine, and she, like, she's in currently in one of the military units. Okay. They're overseas, okay? So there's times where I get the chance to speak with her, and then it goes from, like, just casual conversation, you know? Yep. And then I wake up this morning to a message from her boyfriend, and it simply says... She's in a relationship. Oh wait, hold up. So I need to go to my sources on this shit. So hold up. <laughs> I need to pull up the receipt, man. Like, okay, well, his words exactly were just so you effing know she is with somebody asshole. And then after that, he continues to say fuck you. So I wake up in the morning, I read this message, and I'm all like, okay. The fuck do you want a medal or what? <laughs> <laughs> like, I get she's with you, but like, why you got a last shot at me? Well, it was just a casual conversation. Well, you know, most boyfriends are jealous. Mm. They're very insecure. Usually, the only reason why they lash out is because they're insecure. Yes, and possibly yes, and because I, yes, yeah. I understand that, but it's like, why are you trying to pick a fight? Like, like the I fact said, that you're overseas. More than likely, okay, on an actual psychological <laughs> level, more than likely, he had a girl that cheated on him in the past, and or he cheated on a girl in the past, with his girl in the past. That's why usually they lash out, because they are skeptical, and like they don't trust their other partner. So that's usually why uh, maybe people he lash out. Maybe a baby carrot, dude. Uh, maybe he's insecure about the baby I mean, I was going to pull out the fucking... <laughs> I mean, maybe like, he maybe does. Carrots, dude. I don't know, dude. Like, carrots are good for your eyesight, you know? <laughs> if maybe, anybody, so I've heard. I've heard of that, too. <laughs> if anybody That's knows what we're talking about. I drink carrot, about, I drink carrot juice. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody knows what we're talking about in the comics, in the comments. The <laughs> Apparently, it's a, it's a thing. It's a carrots thing. From your eyesight. So it really does. Way, oh, yeah. <laughs> carrots are good for your eyesight. You lied to me. <laughs> no, have you ever seen that one video at uh, the ASFM um, MV or whatever it's called? No. It's a oh y'all never seen that stuff. It's great. I'll put a link in the description. It's it, it's basically like a little cartoon that was like um oh they never they said I could never teach a llama to drive. No llama, no. Y'all never seen that video? No. Mm. Or like, I got your nose. Look at it, he's got a nose. Bang, 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 bang. Cops bust down the door, start shooting the guy. No? Hey. No. Hey, check out my new uh, camera. Oh, this isn't a camera. No, I've never no? seen it. What? Nope. What? Oh my god. It's great. If. <laughs> but yeah, alright, so a new topic. Let's see what else there is. Just four more followers, and then I will reach 20 followers on Twitch. Oh. That's Tirza's. You're streaming on Twitch? That's Tirza. Um, no, that was me. Yeah. 
Hey, you actually see my tweets? Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't know that. I often check Twitter usually to see. Oh, I'm okay. Back. I actually have a topic. Um, <laughs> did y'all hear about Markiplier's knee dying? Oh. No. Yeah, like, uh, he had. He had. I don't really. I don't really I, watch his I shows. The, I mean, his YouTube uh, channel. Yeah, I watched that video. I watched that update video. Yeah, uh, he had a stream. It. He had a stream coming up at two where he was. And it was pulled down, and he just uploaded a video uh, called Update that was just two minutes long, I was, a minute and a half long. Oh, I'm like, I missed oh, it. it's I still there. It. It, you can still That's watch when it. That's I was supposed to watch it. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, he he just showed up on camera, just crying, broken down. And if if anybody's watching watch this, uh, and I doubt Mark will ever see this, but uh, prayers out to you, man, for real. Um, it's mm. apparently his niece was killed in a car accident it oh, sad. he was really broken yeah. man it was and, and it sucks losing a family member like i've had i've lost several family members and um it, it's it's a tough thing if anybody is watching this and i doubt anybody is maybe other than just some close friends if you guys are hurting there are people that can help you just talk to a family member um yeah, like that's that's sad though. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, I I don't know how it feels like to lose a family member, and I don't want to know because like obviously mm. my mom has cancer, and mm. I'm afraid of that, and that's like mm. my biggest fear is losing her. Yeah. All right, I, I, I will I, say nothing on this subject on the account that I don't want to. Yeah, I feel like I just probably brought this all down. All right, let's move on to a cheerier subject. <laughs> Wait, no, no, I'm it, sorry, but, but it's good. No, it's good no. that you brought it up, though. That's yeah, true. It's uh, an because like topic, it's something yeah. I wanted to talk about and actually put on an upload. Um, <laughs> You're the reason why I drink at night. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, George? <laughs> right. uh, I don't condone any act or alcohol substances. I've actually been clean for ten months. Uh, from. All recreational uses, drinking and smoking. Mm. Well, actually, not I the drinking. drinking. You stopped drinking? No, I haven't drank since like a month ago. But oh. it's because I have gastritis. So. Well, no. The only reason why I quit is because be actually before I started doing YouTube, uh, about a month before my first upload, which was I think October sixteenth. So this um, is what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about sobriety now. I mean, if there's any other t topics you want to talk about, I could I can put this in another uh, vlog or like another episode. I don't know. Um, but no, well, I, I, it's got to get out there eventually, and who knows? Maybe this will be my tell my story video. Um, but I mean, I don't mind it. I was a. I know too now. I, <laughs> it's because I'm the kind of person that likes deep conversations. Yeah. Like I literally love like deep conversations serious conversations about knowing each other's lives etc yeah. knowing what you've been through or what you think about life i'm like yeah. really dark and like at the same time i well, just like george you know. knows this you i actually did charity about. before i've done charity but um mm -hmm. for the longest time for like about four years i was a heavy and abusive meth user it was and it actually got to the point to where the money that I would give to the charity, I would end up using for dr said drugs. And, um, yeah. what? And then along came our friend Ivan. Actually, no, <laughs> it actually was not. Yeah. Um, what broke me was I went to a niece's birthday party and it was everyone's having fun. It was amazing. It was great. But then my niece came up to me and said she wanted to play. And all that was in my mind was, I want another hit. And yeah. after I left the party, I, I just like, what the hell is wrong with me? I'm with my beloved niece who I've watched, and who I've almost practically raised. And all I care about is the next damn fix. And I told mm -hmm. myself that I wanted to be able to help people on, like, when I started YouTube. I said I was going to start YouTube, but... I, I realized if I want to reach out to a community and help people, what kind of example could I be possibly supporting or condoning if I'm over here almost dying? I mean, I wouldn't sleep for months on end because of constant drug use. 
it was terrible um yeah and like i said i've been sober for 10 months and honestly god i love life it's amazing it's a lot better and i'm gonna put a link in the description for anybody that actually is possibly going through the same thing because i actually talk the only reason why i'm bringing this up as well is not only because i wanted to get it out there is because i actually found one of my friends um on facebook actually a post that he was thinking about getting clean but didn't know where to start and don't know how but we in just three days have grown into a group of 300 people and actually made a facebook um page to help people get clean and we're it's a very amazing community and that's what i wanted to do is actually create communities yeah. to help out one another so yeah there's that you can always do that i mean like there's a community group that I'm in, which is the OCD, the anxiety, and the depression group. Mm. I'm in that one, and there's a lot of people that are in it, and it's really good to be in it because, like, it supports, like, other people, and people don't judge. Like, you can speak your mind about what's going on, and they're there yeah. to, like, help you, and they talk to you, and I think that's amazing. I hate people that are constantly saying, like, oh, he's depressed. He'll just get happy. It's not that simple. It's a very serious subject that people often just try to, like, go off the road. And I know George probably hates this conversation. But yeah, conversation. I know. <laughs> exactly. Well, George, George knows how much, like, depression issues I've had. Yeah. I know he knows because I've told him a lot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know George well. George knows. Uh, well, George now knows me well because after we've caught up and stuff. But, like, I also suffer from anxiety and depression. But yeah, I mean, it's... this is actually a topic I wanted to talk about on my YouTube channel. I was just, like, too, like, nervous. And Why I felt you like recording I'd be weird. <laughs> you should question. be recording. recording. I am. Like, I don't know. Like, I, w I just wanted to talk about this, like, on my channel, like, mm. for other people. But I was just afraid to because, like... I don't You're, know. Yeah, because like, some people are just going to be saying, like, negative comments like, or just try to spite you yeah, down. But, I mean, like, the, it's going to happen anyway. So there's exactly. going to be positive people. There's going to be negative people. So, like, what should it matter? And Let them shoot. It's just like, yeah, but other people are, like, telling me, oh, like, it's too personal. And I'm like, no. Well, like, that's... I also wanted to talk about my emotionally abusive relationship. Mm. I honestly wanted to post a video on that and I know it's personal but like I feel like it'll help because I could like post links down below to like the help that I went through mm. when I was going through it there yeah that's true I was one of the help <laughs> fucking church <laughs> but no it's it's it is great to talk about these subjects it it gets off a lot of load off of people's chests and anybody that is watching yeah. do know mm. that you're not the only one out there that that is going through it and there are many people that can help you uh like there's i said counseling there's counseling I mean, yeah I, that's, counseling, that's what i did i've spent go so far though that's the it's thing. true yeah, that's why you also can, have to work on your end too you have to work on your end exactly. but it's, it's also good, good. Yeah, like um, it's good because like in case you can't like if you feel like there's no family like around or you feel like you know you can't talk like talk to a friend or tell yeah. anybody it's good to talk to counseling because I spent like a year in counseling because of the abuse. I mean, like I was blinded with it. Like I didn't know I was being abused until the main head of the counseling center started talking to me and I just like busted out crying and that's when I had help. And I was there for about a year and it literally helped me like honestly. And I also plan on going back because I've been having problems too. So yeah, it's... Uh, um, you know, there's something, you weren't talking um, to me, George, sorry. that time. Uh, yeah, it's Terrence, okay. um, Terrence, go for it, man. Uh, well, okay. There's been, there's only one problem I've been having for like about a year and a half right now that is like been, it's been bothering me quite a long time. It's like a common goal thing. It's actually about family. Yeah. Um,. Normally, I don't want to say this to anyone, but since Wait. we're oh, oh, open, that's what I think it is. I know, Jorge, you, you know. Oh, okay, so it is what I think it is. So oh. it is what I thought it was. 
Yeah. Um, it's about my uh, my grandma. Mm -hmm. Basically, she's not a she's not a ordinary one. She's I don't know. There are some times when she would you know when she, I guess. God damn, George. A couple of years ago, when mm -hmm. she was active, she it's actually kind of more abusive, especially to my mom, oh, shit. to my aunt, and to my uncle. Well, not really that much, but mostly my mom and stuff. Yeah. And they have a really tough life and all that stuff. Until, like, you know, a couple years ago. Until, like, I guess when she was 18, my mom was 18, she went out and, you know, lived with my dad and stuff and being together because my grandmother was very abusive to her. And she is not like that now because she's a lot older and she's actually being a little nicer to us. But... She have like a problem. So basically, like a couple of years ago, like a couple couple of years ago, my grandmother have like I don't know this really bad infection of one of her of her um right leg that is like completely dead skin and stuff. I know that I don't want to like you know go into graphic detail, mm -hmm. but basically. They had to cut off that leg before it mm. infects, infect the main body, and she will die from that. Wait, like a, a, a necropsy? So, it, so it's she had flesh eating tissue, deterioration. Or something like that. Or, I think yeah. something like that. Oh gosh, damn! Because she's okay. not. Because she. Because for all her life, she never take care of herself. Even when I kind of visit her at her, when we ch went back in California, when, when she used to live out there, when we try to visit her, we never go to her house because her house is disgusting. Like, mm -hmm. it's full of trash and chunk and everything. There's rats, and it's just very, oh, God. very houseless place. And that's why we're not allowed to go over there. So when, I guess, my aunt... Uh, found out about this they took her to the hospital and everything and um, you know they had to remove the leg luckily mm. she's okay and everything and she's been staying in the nursing home for like a couple years yeah. but she had like a thing where she had like a, neg a negative attitude she's not thinking straight and everything and she likes to like do this without doing it. So, she's been living in a kind of a poor condition nursing home for like a couple years. And when we, I mean, when we visit it, I know it doesn't look bad because it's like in the middle of Hollywood or something. Yeah, that's where it is located. And I thought, you know, they're taking good care of her. And I think by the late 2016, She's like caused problems there. Like she didn't pay them the money and everything. And eventually she's about to get she got kicked out from the nursing home. So my so she called my mother and tell her tell her, Hey, get me out of here and everything and why not have her live out here in Arizona with us so we can take care of her. Obviously my mom don't want to feel so bad, so she, you know, let her live with us. And I did not know how bad her condition and stuff, her condition and everything, until when we uh, got, when we get her. Sorry if this is kind of a long story, but I really want to get this out. So, March of 2017, I think around 2, 2 a.m., we woke up, and obviously we have to lift her up because she's like at least over 300 pounds. Oof. 
me and my brothers had to lift her up, put her in the wheelchair, and wheel her into the house, and also lift her up in the bed. And that was like one of the toughest things ever. Because she can't walk. She can't even use her strength. So throughout a year and a half, we've been like, she's been living in her house for like a year and a half now. And things are not getting better for her. I think like a couple of months ago, we've been kind of miserable because especially, especially my mom who suffers the most because mom had to do all three months or sweat and guts to take care of her. And Mickey, that's what we call her. That's what, that's my grandmother's name, mm. but she is ungrateful. She is unappreciated. And she basically wants mom to suffer. And that was like one of the toughest experiences I have to see. Mm. Um, and it doesn't really affect me and my brothers up because you but know, it we does. have school and work. But no, that, not much. But it does kind of like seeing mom. I know my brothers, they don't really care about it because they're doing an old thing because I'm mostly the one who really looks out around the house and makes sure everything's good, even though I'm the <laughs> the younger brother, mm. the youngest mm. sibling. It's just hard to witness that. And obviously, we try to convince her, hey, this is not working. We can't help you and go to a nursing home. But obviously, she refuses. She refuses. Now, obviously, we cannot, you know, force her to take, put her to a nursing home because she didn't sign the paperwork that mom is her, that my mother is her guardianship. Which, that's a good thing and a bad thing, so that way, you know, because that way mom don't have to, my mother have to, don't do have to do all this ridiculous hard work to her and everything. So, it's been, it's been years and everything, and she's getting worse. But right now, my mom's actually doing better, not, you know, letting her affect her. Emphasize, like, she's actually getting a, my grandmother's actually getting like caregiving. Care, like a caregiver is coming every week, you know, to do all the things like feed her and give her baths and everything. And it's good, like that way my mother can go back home and, and just rest. But like, she's getting, my, mo she, my grandmother is still not getting better. She's 17 years old. She's been sitting in that bed She's getting really weak and weak, losing all her muscle, and it's like she refuses to go to a nursing home and assisting living. Assisting living, it's like she's like dying. And my mom told me, whatever happens to her, don't feel too bad, because we did the best to take care of her in the end. And I fear I don't want to witness whatever happens to her. I have to witness this myself because I never do. And I just wish she have a good heart and a good thought to like really get the better care and health she does because she's like basically my only living grandmother I have and it'll be tough once she's gone but I just want to know that we did the best to take care of her even though she can be mean and crazy and stubborn and everything heck I even kind of argue with me and my mom kind of argue with her two months ago to like tell her what how is this infecting us and obviously she won't listen and everything because she had these mental problems and everything and it's like kind of hurt me and every day i'm trying to like not think about it too much i'll still like you know see if she's okay but i try to like avoid her that 
too much. I try not to. Uh, I can't talk right now. No, we get I just you. Try not, I just try not to, like, let her affect me too much, you know, and just enjoy my day. But it's like, I would, I, it's just sad to see her like this. Heck, my mom had to clean, sometimes the, my mom and the caregiver clean her up every day and she's bedridden. So basically we can't take her to a bath, an actual bath or shower to clean her up. They had to use like a rug and wash her up like stander. Oh. So like, and then she had to wear like, you know, adult diapers whenever she used the bathroom. It's just like, I don't know. I mean, I know this won't last too long, but like, I kind of feel very pity for her and I wish she should change her mind and deserve better care and better health, but nope, that's her decision. She wants to suffer, stay in the house, and not get all the help he needs. And, oh man, this is probably going to be the hardest this is in my life. And, I mean, that's all we have to do is just wait until something happens to her. So, that's all I have to say. Like, that's been kind of struggling me, struggling. And I try to feel better by, you know, hanging out with friends or do something, talk to someone about this. So, I don't know. I don't have, like, many, many friends outside of um, where I live. I only got two close friends I really talk to. So, it's like, I don't know. If you ever need to I'm talk, man, we are here for you, man. We really are. Yeah. Yeah, the fact that you have my number, man. You can always message me whenever you feel down or whatever. I actually have the perfect name for this podcast now. What? <laughs> here to the help. Emotion run wild. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, leave, see, leave it to me to brighten up the mood because I'm. Yeah. I'm, I that's that's mood. why I like George here because like he will try to brighten the I mood. Like it's great. <laughs> well, yeah. The but yeah, man. If you do need to talk. Mood, if you do need to talk, man, just let us know. We are here for you. We're your friends. I really appreciate that. No problem, man. I mean, I've been, I've been like, you know, try not to like think about it too much. Just continue what I'm doing, like working, go to school and stuff. It's just that. It's there. I don't want to feel really bad when it actually happened because I've been talking to my mom every day and told her, hey, is she. She's still getting worse and everything. She like, yep. Yeah. Yeah, all we have to do is just wait. She, she messed up and everything. And I, so, I guess that's another topic to talk about. I was like, do take care of yourself, guys. Like, it, disease. It's it doesn't always just happen in front of your face. Things can happen even if you do live in a clean house. Do you get checked regularly? Um, it is. I get checked regularly. Not because of. I do too. Yeah, not because I'm of the bugs. I'm currently worried. <laughs> I'm cur- I'm just currently worried about some things that I told George. Oh on. my god! <laughs> right, right, George. George is like, God damn! I gotta try brightening up all of this shit. Right, George. You know what I'm talking about. I'm still worried about it. Please. <laughs> uh, oh. But, all right. Yeah, hey, you want to talk about? I'm, I'm fine about it. Or no, no, should, no. should we find another? Do you want to talk about that, Tears? Or should we find another topic to to brighten the mood? Oh no, it's fine. I I just want to like I didn't mean to bring down about this. Like, uh, don't it's worry about it. Man. About it. It's not that you bring it brought brought the mood down or anything like that. It's just that, in a sense, I could kind of relate to it. Mm-hmm. Only difference is my grandmother was just stubborn, and she so, just saying. It, and and sometimes it's sorry, she, was like, just, she was just stubborn too. Yeah. And when hey, she's kinda... stubborn, she be stubborn. When she yeah. like yeah, gets a, stubborn, stubborn, she too. usually stays. She usually like you know stays stuff that doesn't make sense and everything. So like, she's crazy, but you know that's what she. 
be. So whenever she says something mean or defend it, she's just saying that like she don't really mean it. Well, I mean, like I can I can kind of relate to this like family wise, because like like my mom's side of the family is like really terrible. Like my mom has cancer, and like her sisters, like they. I guess they kind of like gloat that they supposedly like take care of her to like random strangers like when we're out like at doctors and they really don't like they keep asking my mom for like money like all the time and for gas when we have to like you know help pay for her cancer treatments and they never want to help my mom when it comes to like going to like rides to like the doctors or like me and they talk like smack about like me and my mom and they also took my mom's job and that's when she started getting like depression and everything like that and they constantly say like like oh she has like depression like oh she wants to like kill herself but that's not true and like even my aunt she stole well she like took my mom's like medical records from the lawyer from her social security um i don't know how she did that and that's like really illegal but she did that and i was pissed off about it so i got into like a fight and i had to and the paramedic was like getting really mad like at my family like saying like why are you getting like her her things like that's illegal and stuff and you shouldn't be saying that she's suicidal when she should be the one telling me as a patient not you like you can't just assume this stuff about the patient and so i got really mad and because of like the whole fight i had to call the paramedics like supervisor like the manager and apologize for like my aunt's actions for like having an attitude because she was going to get fired because they thought like you know like the whole fighting issues and so i had to like be the one to fix like the whole situation but yeah, like, my family is, like, pretty bad. Like, they don't really care about my mom, knowing that she's suffering from cancer. So I'm the one that's, like, there for her, and she's she cries multiple times. So it, it sucks. It's really stressful. Well, I hope... I just bring good luck. I just hope your mother is going to make it for this. Same I wish here. her great luck. Yeah, thanks. Like, it, it sucks, like, seeing her skin, like, peel from radiation. Like, it really uh, does. It's it's hard to deal with, and I'm dealing with that, and then just dealing with my issues, like, my health issues. I'm stressed over, over it a lot, and, yeah, and I have, like, really bad anxiety, and I don't like going anywhere, like, out in public. Um, I freak out a lot. I'm worried about getting sick, like... That, that's why I stopped going to college. I got bad panic attacks. I couldn't do it. I suffer from heart arrhythmia and just a lot of health issues. And I just couldn't go to college anymore. And I'm stuck home and I feel like a complete loser sometimes because I can't work. And it sucks because I really want to work and stuff. But I'm so afraid to because how often I get sick. And that's why YouTube and Twitch is like the only thing I have. You know, mm -hmm. it's the only way I could communicate with other people without being so scared because so much things happen in my life and I'm afraid of people. So I don't really go out. Oh. All right, I'm actually glad we actually started talking about this and started doing this. This is this is great. This is all good. Cause yeah, it, it, I, I like it because cause we're opening up to each other and like I, I don't know you all, you know, and... Yeah. I feel like it's really cool and getting to know like every one of you all. The only one I know here is George, and I feel everybody here knows George. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most people but, do. Mm. Some people don't. He, oh. He's, he's a coin. Oh. Bree got out of the party because she thinks her headset's messed up, so she said she'll join right back. Oh, okay. But, but well, mm -hmm. in any case, certain, I'm going to leave. There's certain oh. things that you guys do know, and there's other certain things that you guys don't know. All right, in case I'm cutting, running out of time, I'm going to leave this podcast here. If you guys enjoyed this, if you guys have anything you want to get off your chest, put it down in the comments or go to Tears' channel. Um, heck, um, anything you want to say, George? Yeah, I have. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe <laughs> for follow more. My Twitter. <laughs> follow oh, my Twitter. Th that's right. 200 likes and George makes a, tw and George makes a uh, YouTube. 
Oh my gosh, yes, please! <laughs> 200 likes, guys. 200 likes. <laughs> 200 likes, and George <laughs> makes a YouTube. All right, guys. Really hope you guys enjoyed this. It means a lot that if you guys stuck with us all the way to the end of this podcast, it really does mean a lot. I'll do my best to put in those links in the descriptions. Remember, you're not alone. There's always people to reach out to, whether or not you know them or not. Puppet at Twitter. <laughs> there you go. Man, I did like, that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right, but your profile's private. <laughs> <laughs> that's why i accept people when they send requests <laughs> <laughs> all right guys my name is mythos finger stay strong because tomorrow's another day